Canva just keeps upping the game every single year. In 2024, we got this massive UI overhaul that completely changed the way we access and use Canva. But this year, I think that they've honestly gone above and beyond. I just got access to the brand new portal and so do you, but I'm going to have to show you how to get there. So keep on watching if you want access to all these new, honestly, straight up mind blowing new features from spreadsheets to AI powered content at scale. This isn't just an update. It is seriously a whole new creative playground. So today in this video you're watching right now, I'm going to actually be accessing the new 2025 Canva portal for the first time and kind of exploring my way through it, uh, hopefully in the same way that you will as well. So with that said, let's quit playing around. Let's dive in. I'm excited for this one, man. Let's go. All right. So when you log into Canva, uh, you're going to see something just like this. It doesn't look a whole lot different, but this is where Brick is. There we go. And so if you notice, all I did is click the envelopes and that's all you have to do as well is click through the envelopes and you're going to access the Canva portal. And my access number is 1,125. I do know this is going to be limited to the first million people. I got in very early. Uh, so do me a favor. Let me know your access number down below if you go in and access it. Let's see what we got. Magic charts, visuals, and the code. All right. All right, here we go. Let's go to Canva AI. And now this isn't a huge surprise. Canva AI is, you know, it was called Dream Labs. Now it's just Canva AI, but is it is it different? Let's see. Dream Lab has a new home. Our most powerful AI tools are now all in one place. Select Canva AI, then create an image to access. Okay, but it seems like we can do quite a bit more. We can design, so promote my new bakery. Uh, we can create an image. Uh, we can also code, which is really interesting. Uh, we can do a design. Sure, let's try this. Let's do like something like this. Let's do a design like this. Okay, it's almost like a uh, chat base. This is interesting. Okay, and, and pretty quickly we came out with something pretty nice. So let me see, I wanna try something a little bit different. Let's grab this as well. We're gonna design a promotional Instagram post featuring a new we'll do an energy drink new energy drink showcase it's edgy pack we'll do edgy packaging he will say key features i'm trying to keep a lot of this the same uh and a uh hip rock aesthetic there we go let's just let's just see what happens oh interesting okay honestly pretty solid like this is this is sick I, I mean, I kind of love this now, like, obviously, if I were creating the actually creating this, I would want to have like my own image in there. But I think within Canva, that'd be really easy to do. And so that is pretty awesome. OK, this came out great. All right. So that's that's one thing that we can do. Let's see what else we can do. I will say I actually I went to school for IT and I minored in programming, but I haven't written code in a long time. Um, let's do this one. Let's do let's try write. Let's do a uh, write a blog post about the benefits of coffee in the morning. I don't even have a cup of coffee, man. I'm doing this all wrong today. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay. So it's actually created it like a, a Canva doc. It looks like interesting. Okay. Ah, uh, coffee, magical elixir that kickstarts our mornings and fuels our days, but beyond the comforting aroma and rich taste, this is wild, dude. This is pretty crazy. Hey, look at that. I actually should probably read this. Seems interesting. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So wrote a blog post really easily. Like I can have it write a code. Let's have it create a simple countdown timer. I was like, I can have it write code, but I don't know if that's even going to do me any good. because I can't tell you if this is going to work. I haven't actually written code in years. Oh, version one. Oh, oh, there it's there. What? There's a track click in the start button to see the pulsing animation and countdown action. Let's just say uh, I don't see a start button. All right, now I have a start button. It works. I, dude, I am, I am like thinking of so many full stream ideas. Okay, stay tuned for videos to come, guys. I, I have some neat ideas with this. We can start building our own like stream widgets and we don't even have to code them ourselves. 
All right, we're gonna pause. That works. Reset works. That's awesome. Okay, that's I'm kind of I'm kind of blown away. Should I be? I feel like I don't know. I am though. I will say that's cool. Okay, let's go back home. Let's go here to Canva Sheets, which, as you can tell, it's a spreadsheet. And if you are not a spreadsheet user, this may not seem that useful to you. I am. Uh, the cool thing is there are some really neat designs already here, and you know we can just very quickly add something like that in. Um, I like like this budget tracker right here. I actually, it's the main thing I use use spreadsheets for at this point in life is for my personal financial. Everything just feels a little big. I will say. I'm just used to different style, but yeah, pretty quickly. And look, so they have actually even more in here. This is where you can categorize things. We can add new options. This is cool. Okay. Update 14 similar dropdowns. Oh, okay. Very cool. So I can add my own and then I can update all 14 at once. Let's take a look. That's cool. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. So I, I this is awesome. I, I currently, you know, have spreadsheets that I use, but this being built into Canva where I'm already doing so much work is very convenient. I don't yet know what extent I will use this, but hold on. I want to see these these like graphs here. Very interesting. Like, how do I edit the graph? Like that. Okay, double click on it. Oh, this is the magic charts. Okay. All right. So now for this section, do I just select what I want to create the chart over? I do. No way, guys. No way. Okay. Let's just create a, a bar chart. Oh, let's view all charts. Do a we'll do a single color bar chart. And so now I can just like size it. Does it snap though? I really want it to snap. I'm 15. It's, I'm missing one though. If I change the data, does it change this? We just want it to be a one. Yes. Okay. Uh, instantly updates. Very cool. This is really cool. This is actually uh, a bit more powerful than I thought. And honestly, just seeing the power of the magic charts is, is kind of blowing me away. I want to start with something new here. Let's just create a new page. I want to do, I'm just going to say Twitch followers, nine thousand dr heels followers i have two i have two youtube channels you didn't know that nine thousand i don't know what i'm at i think i'm closer to then i have my personal youtube channel and it's at like fifteen thousand. Ah, oh, i can't type so let's say we had information like that now let's create a chart let's do a pie chart okay but it's still only pulling in information for two of them i, I i'm clearly doing something wrong Okay, it did. For some reason, I wonder if it's thinking this is like the title slide. If that's like if I had a title on it, like, you know, total followers or something like that. But yeah, okay, pretty, pretty cool. Like it honestly, this to me is might be one of the main reasons I switched to using Canva uh sheets for my primary like spreadsheet usage and and you know personal finance and stuff. Is just the ability to create charts on the fly like that is is really cool. Yeah, if you have any ideas for how you would apply this. Uh, in your context, please let me know in the comments below. This is really cool. Already going a little bit longer than I intended. So let's go back home and check out. I think there was one last thing I said I wanted to look at the photo editor. Yes. All right. So here, let's take a look at our photo editors. This is from actually, let's just go and start. This is from a sermon I did recently. What do we got here? So we can prop adjust. Um, there's a background generator and that is new. What else do we have? Uh, let's go to background generator. Let's put me in a, a field wildflowers with deer. Yes. It's just what came to mind. Let's see. I just, this is cool. I don't know. I'm, I'm intrigued. What I'm seeing a, a one good use case for this would always be to just create like a green screen background that you could always key out. Okay, there we go. There we go. This one's perfect, right? This is what I was looking for. And there we go. In case you're wondering what I would look like preaching to a field of wildflowers with deer, well, now you know if you were asking that question. Then we have crop effects, which are fairly normal. I just want to see what happens now. Let's say I'm done. Do I just save this? And that like saved the image? Uh, oh, right there is probably how I would have downloaded the image. I've just saved it. Okay, so I could easily click download, uh, which is great. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, uh, there are some some cool things here. I don't know. I don't exactly know how to use this, but let's see. I have an image that's kind of here. This is me and my disc golf buddies. You just crop me out, bro. Not cool. Okay, very cool. So it does do like a, a smart auto crop. This was, uh, those are the ones that I wanted to kind of look through. I know there's definitely more. And, and as I play around with it and I learn more about it, I will absolutely have more videos coming out. I already have some cool ideas cooking just from what we've seen here today. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Uh, I release videos just like this all the time, primarily utilizing 
the incredible tools on Canva to help you build your uh, streams and your YouTube channels and things like that using the amazing tools over at Canva. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe to this channel uh, and stay tuned. I'll be coming out with plenty of more utilizing Canva's new portal. All right, see you guys.